Hey guys, how's it going on? And we're here. Transfer window has arrived. And, well, I mean, it's not even arrived yet. We're not even, I'm recording recording this on the 31st, the day before the uh, transfer window does kick off. But the one I wanted to talk about, I've been on hol uh, I've been away, so I've not been able to talk about this sooner. But Cody Gakpo has been confirmed as Liverpool's uh, January edition. Joining for £37 million pounds up front. With a, with it rising to fifty-five uh, million after bonuses, for instance, that will be stuff like them winning the Champions League, them uh, winning the Premier League, stuff like that. Uh, like, and then you've got obviously like the bonuses, like goal bonuses, and um, so stuff like that. That's how it will be for the structure. But I think it's going to be interesting just to break down. Obviously, Cody in the Eredivisie this year has had an absolutely outstanding season. Fourteen games. Has had nine goals, twelve assists, similar stuff in Europe, with five appearances in the Europa League so far, with three goals, two assists. Obviously, um, in that uh, time is obviously uh, come onto the radar of a lot of bigger clubs. In the summer, was an inch away from joining for Leeds United on deadline day. Uh, couldn't agree terms, so stayed with uh, PSV Eindhoven. Um, obviously had that game against Rangers in the Champions League where he didn't really do that well. Um, but since then that has just not uh, put him uh, down. He had a really good World Cup for the Netherlands. Um, and then was in a position where basically a lot of people thought he was going to join Manchester United. Was it going to happen? Was it not? And then Liverpool just swooped in and then it's got the man. Have I... It is value for money with uh, Jurgen Klopp uh, getting Cody for £37 million. Obviously, up front, uh, a lot of people seem to get confused over, like I say, add-ons. Um, like I say, it doesn't guarantee anything. Like, Liverpool aren't guaranteed to win the Champions League in, in the time frame in which that, that will be valid for in the actual clause. Um, he's valued at €60 million Euros as of the 23rd of December. So it comes in at good value. Will be probably slotting in in that left wing position whilst Luis Diaz is sidelined for a numerous amounts of months with a leg injury, and it will pretty much, I think, once Diaz is back, have this nice, interesting dynamic from free where you can rotate between Diaz and uh, Nunes, Salah, and Gakpo, and uh, also the likes of um, the other players coming through. Like, like Jota, Fabio and Harvey Elliott. I do think still that Liverpool do need a midfielder. They seem very light having watched them against both City and against uh, Leicester. Uh, they do come across quite lightweight and I do think they could benefit Liverpool uh, this January. Perhaps not getting, uh, if they can't agree, turns on Enzo or, Gap, uh, Enzo or Jude. Getting at least a midfielder in, whether that be Amrabat or someone else. Uh, what do you guys think of this transfer? I really like it. I'm really excited to see him play. Um, obviously, Liverpool in action on Monday. Uh, whether or not he will be play, it will play. I'm not too sure. I don't quite think he will, uh, just because of the fact that he's probably had a limited amount of time to train with the club. But until next time, I'm going to catch you on the flip side. Peace.